Hello, welcome to Fame Friday. This is the truth. It was the Oscars this week. Is that Oscar a gleaming golden statue to white male power? And what's the real question of the night? Okay, what was up with John Travolta last night? I don't know. Travolta is the talk of the town for his creepy moments, both on stage and on the red carpet. But let's break down his whole look first. It's a little baffling. The choker, yikes. Then there's the guy liner. You never catch me dressing up like that. Hello! So was the theme of Oscar night John Travolta, an eccentric man <laughs> expressing himself, or are there different stories that could be told, more overt, obvious, and useful social narratives? Hmm. It's our time to have wage equality once and for all. We say that Selma is now because the struggle for justice is right now. Tonight we honor Hollywood's best and widest, sorry, brightest. Well, I suppose in some way it's got an obligation to operate as a kind of valve for some of the evident and increasingly obvious social injustices we're experiencing across society, otherwise the Oscars will lose its relevance as a scenario that's meant to celebrate the st actual stories that society tells itself. Filmmaking is the closest thing we have to dreams made real. Storytelling, our modern myths. If the Oscars and the films there don't properly represent our society, it's irrelevant. So these sort of half-jokey, occasionally pointed political statements are the only way that the Oscars is gonna be even moderately relevant. What are your thoughts about that political montage that you just showed? I, I, I was appalled. I could not believe it. I agree with Mr. Trump. I miss the glamour. So glamour. It's just not completely vacuous, mindless glamour. Still pretty mindless. It's just the occasional bits of mindfulness Fox wants out. You know the mindless glamour? Yeah, too much of it, wasn't there? Not enough. The elegance, the class, the, ma the majesty of the Oscars. You know, I'm an actress. Mm -hmm. I've dreamed about it my whole life. Don't you ever dream about <laughs> social justice, gender equality, racial equality? Mostly my dreams are about me. What about the race issue when we heard Neil Patrick Harris here at the yeah. very end of it? I don't know if it's because of, of race. You can't argue with the facts unless you're Fox News, and then that's your obligation and duty. But what John Legend said was there are more black men under correctional control today than were under slavery in 1850. True and bad. 13% of the overall population is black. One in 10 black men in their 30s are in jail or prison on any given day. Are you black? Yes. Are you in your thirties? Yes. Are there ten of you? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. One of you's got to go to prison. How pervasive are politics right now in Hollywood to the point where we can't even watch the Oscars? And everyone has a right to their freedom of speech, but you would think that there would be some who might feel a different way. Are they being silenced still? Oh yeah. Typical black households accumulated less than one tenth of the wealth of a typical white one. Over the last 25 years, the gap between blacks and whites has tripled. Ferguson, so it getting occasionally mentioned at the Oscars, it's hardly a transgression. They actually think we care what they think. <laughs> right. <laughs> they actually think we care what they... We don't care! Just we, shut up and act. We don't care how you voted. And then gender, as Patricia Arquette mentioned in her speech, couldn't the White House full-time working women and 77% of their male counterparts, even if that's mentioned as part of the ceremony, it's insufficient. Yeah, but you know how Hollywood operates. It's a lefty town. It's lefty. And when when they get the opportunity to have the big megaphone, they're going to take it. And so like I said, if it, conservatives... It's nothing new. Far from being the, a sort of a liberal institution, as seems to be being implied, no black person has ever won Best Director. Only 7% of Best Oscar winners have been black men. Ali Berry is the only black woman who's ever won one. And when black people do Oscars, it's quite often playing the part of someone that's being a Pressed by white people, not uh, emancipated, powerful people that have control over their own destiny. Just plain bad is how Donald Trump described it when he was tweeting last night. Well, it was a great night for Mexico, as usual. You know, this country. <laughs> so the Academy is an actual body of people. Who are they? The Academy is predominantly white. 94% of the membership are white and predominantly male. 77% of the membership. Black members account for just 3%. I think I'm a member of it. I mean, I got sent a form to vote. So I'm I am white and I am male, so I'm in that majority, so I'm even part of the problem. Well, let me ask you something. Uh, Clint Eastwood, 84 years old, does the American Sniper. Yeah. Now, it seems as Hollywood was like the Hurt Locker, right? Yeah. They like Lone Survivor. What was the problem? Is Clint Eastwood the problem with American Sniper, do you think? Well, I don't know. I mean, it was a good film and all, but it was a little bit like a computer game where Muslim people got killed for a laugh. I would say probably, which is 
I mean, so sad. It's Clint Eastwood, and that film was the most beautiful film I've seen in a very long time. I would like to say American Sniper made $300 million. That's what seven films made. Yeah. And isn't that, after all, the most important thing in the world? So what can we say about the Oscars? I suppose we shouldn't expect the Oscars to vocalise social problems, although as the fulcrum of movie storytelling, the fulcrum of modern myths, it perhaps has an obligation to tell stories that are relevant to the times. So the stories of race, stories of gender inequality are relevant and it being fleetingly mentioned in speeches is insufficient when these are stories that should be being told on a global level if we are to save our planet. I would say that famous people have got an obligation to stand up for things they believe in, whether it's John Legend pointing out racial inequality at a time of massive racial inequality and tension, or Patricia Arquette saying that there's not good enough roles for women, or generally speaking across society enough pay for women. And former Oscar winner Emma Thompson and her husband Greg Wise have come out and said they're not gonna pay any tax until HSBC, the corrupt bank, pay the tax that they owe to our country, Britain. So Oscar winners can fulfill a valuable role. Those people that spoke out are doing the, one of the few things that people in the entertainment industry can do. Lend a voice to important issues. Perhaps we should all join Emma and Greg in not paying their tax, and Patricia and John in speaking out about the things we care about. That is some true news. Subscribe here. Oh, thank you, thank you. That's probably one of the best truths I've ever done. Mm, God, these things are heavy. To leave you scared and confused Truths is like the news If the news was true I want some truths Let's have some truths